Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lone Star Trucking. And if you're paying attention, you can see in the right-hand mirror, we have bought ourselves a trailer. Let's uh, get out and take a look at it real fast. We already have a job, and we are hauling cattle. And it is going up to San Antonio. I mean, I guess you could have seen it in the... <laughs> in the... Um, thumbnail but yeah we've got some cattle we're going up to the organic valley this is our new trailer and we spent about 30 some odd 40 thousand on it and i'm super excited we're hauling cattle now we're we're animal haulers and i think it's going to be an exciting time for lone star trucking so let's uh we've got about 169 miles nice to go so let's get, get ready to turn Let's get going. Let's get out of here. I'm sure there's a way that you have to actually haul live animals. You can't drive like a maniac, I suppose. We don't want them to be ground beef right now. This is like the Corpus Christi. Oh, yeah. We're back in Corpus Christi, if I didn't already say that. I can't remember what I say. But, uh, yeah, we're back in Corpus Christi because we had to come back to pick up our new trailer. And, you know, this is like a bridge to nowhere above us. I don't think there was a stop there. I didn't see a stop sign. Turn left. So let's get on the road. Let's get going. Let's not turn our beef into tenderized steaks just yet. Museum ship. Getting out onto the highway. All right. Out on the highway. Let's get this baby fired up. Let's get up to San Antonio. Taking them to the order, uh, San Antonio? Sure. Uh, Organic Valley, they definitely can use these cows up there. So they're not going to become beef just yet. They're going to get fattened up. Maybe they're milk cows. Maybe they're being milked. They're a little brown and white, so it could be that they're milk cows. Dairy. They're being milked. Looking at the new billboards that the billboard people have been putting in the game, they're pretty good. There was an Adidas one back there that it was new. when you slam on your brakes in front of me, dude.
yawn here. Turn left. <laughs> this guy's like, oh no, it's that semi again, dude. Hit a helicopter overhead. Come on, light. Let's go. Just trying to see what that billboard said right there. It looked like it said more slugs per gallon, but that can't make that doesn't make any sense. No sense at all. Oh, there's that same uh whatchamacallit boat over there that's always there. They're just out there every day, man. Stocks that can't go underneath the bridge. I think I recall that billboard, the coffee billboard from one of our trucking sessions. Our, uh, <laughs> that sounds awful, trucking session. Uh, from one of our, I don't know, I thought it was in seven. That's my bad. Uh, one of our More Freedom convoys. This guy, make up your mind, dude. As he runs into the back of that semi. That was ridiculous. He stopped gawking at the billboards. Oh, now he's behind me. I better be careful. This guy's out of control, bro. I feel like I should have like a uh, cow horns on the front of the truck now. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Oh, this is interesting. We're slowing down for this. Interesting on ramp. I think it would be cool is if they had real time, it could pull like real time construction data from a website where it was like, okay, you know, US 90, US 59 right here is 
under construction in this part, left lane is closed or right lane is closed or, you know, it's a crossover. So the game could put in that construction or if there was a mod maker out there that could Go do all of that. It, be, it, it would be cool. I know it's a that's a whole deal because you have to edit the map and it would have to update every day. It would be neat. Just saying. I think I have enough of my games talking to the internet as it is. I don't I guess I don't want it to talk to it anymore. US 77 North. Also, I want to try what. Maybe I'll do that at lunch today. I'll have one of those Krabby Patties. Right. Then exit right. If they're still available from Wendy's. Exit right. It's just now they're doing construction over by my house and to get to the closest Wendy's, which was a mile down the road, it's now it's now a whole ordeal. It's it's basically now instead of it being two minutes down the road, it's now fifteen minutes. Having to drive around in circles and all that stuff. Unpleasant to say the least. I have a lot of feelings about that road construction because at one point they had that road closed. They did they're doing they were doing it in stages and they're putting in stupid ass roundabouts everywhere. And um over by my house where my my road that connects to the road they're doing construction on, they're putting in a like a six foot median in the middle of it. I either just was st sitting here talking or that guy ran the green li red light. Could have been me talking. Anyway, they're putting in this six foot median and they're just it's a giant waste of money. Millions upon millions of dollars in monies that they're basically wasting to put this road in. I'm hoping that I don't have to live here that much longer, but I was looking at houses last night and with the rate the mortgage rate still being six and a half seven percent i can't like the house that i could afford to buy is yeah it's not very it's half like i could yeah i'm just saying like at six and a half or seven percent on a mortgage the house that I can afford to buy based upon what I pay in rent right now is like a hundred thousand or a hundred and fifty thousand dollar house and they just don't have those anymore. Those hundred and fifty thousand dollar houses are now three hundred thousand dollar houses when they've went up in the last five years. Should have stayed in seventh. Oh well, we're in eighth now. So I'm probably going to be stuck in this place for a couple more years and hopefully very soon that things will change and the prices will start going back down again. If we don't get that change, it'll only get worse.
Come on, life. There's nobody over there. Just turn green, bro. See, this is what I mean. Like, this right here. This is kind of cool. Like, you know, it's a one-lane deal. Yeah, so this road, they... <clears throat> Uh, a couple years ago, they basically closed that road for an entire year to do half of the construction. And I was like, you know what you should have done is when you close the road for a year to do the other stupid roundabout, maybe you should have done the second one and all the other parts, you know, up to where they're putting in this bridge section. So then you could have not inconvenienced people for two, two or three, two and a half years, basically, of you doing construction on this road. Because it's not supposed to be finished until August of next year. I don't know. I'm a, Keep left. I'm a thinking Keep guy. Left. Could be that they just didn't have the money but also my thought was is that oh you know what you could do is you could have finished the bridge Turn section left. that heads out to the highway finish that up and then people have the ability to come out of my neighborhood and turn right go to the bridge and go to the highway. I don't know. I'm not a city planner. But I am a thinker. Also, as a result of this construction, they cut my fiber. They cut the fiber in my area. I don't say my fiber particularly, but the fiber that I use my AT&T fiber. They cut it. Um, it was all marked, and right. it's it was next to the existing road, and they uh, ended up cutting it the one night or the one afternoon because they dug too close to it and cut it. I can't imagine the bill that they're going to have to pay to have that getting that repaired. But those, there was probably 20 guys out there fixing that. And it was well past, I think I went out there at like 11 o'clock when I walked Rocco. And they were out there fixing it. And it was probably well into the wee hours in the morning before they got it done. This is where it ends. This is where it ends. All right, where do you need it? I think it's in that barn. I think it's in this barn up here. We're going to go up here and see. Oh, yeah. Look, it's right there in the barn. We're going to swing to the right here. Oh, that's not terrible. Get this straightened out. Okay. It's not as bad as some of them that I've seen. Oh, look at the lights on this. Look good.
Alright, there we go. And unload the cattle. How'd we do? Excellent. Alright, well we made 27 hundo on that. And I'm just going to have a peek. I'm going to have a peek here. We're in San Antonio. <laughs> Cattle from the Walmart? <laughs> Which is weird. Oh, it's Texas. Maybe they, they do that sort of thing. Which this is more believable, the pigs from here to a different one. So hey, but that's not that's gonna do it for this episode of Lone Star Trucking. And we do ha we have our we got our trailer, we got all that going, and I'm super excited about it. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Lone Star Trucking. And until next week, take care.